Hi friends, it's Pastor Veronica here with a story time just for you. Here I sit in my great great grandmother Jenny's rocking chair that squeaks and creaks when I rock <laughs> and I am ready to tell you a story tonight. Now, I just want to remind you, if you have missed any of the stories, which we do every Tuesday and Thursday Central Time at 7.30 p.m. live on Facebook, that you can always get some of our previously recorded stories um, in the video section of our Facebook page. You can also go to our YouTube channel, and all you need to do is do a Google search for YouTube Emanuel Lutheran Church Colleen, or you can go to our website, www.colleenemanuel.com, and find all of our videos there as well. So don't feel like you've missed out, or if you um, miss our normal time, or maybe 7.30 is past your bedtime, you can always check them out at an earlier time. Just make sure you have your parents' permission. Tonight, I am reading to you a book called Old Manhattan Has Some Farms. Hmm, does that sound a little silly of a title for you? Well, this book um, was written by Susan Lendroth and illustrated by Kate Endel, but it also has a song that goes with it, which is sung um, by Caspar Baby Pants. Now, I don't know if you know who that is, but he does a lot of kids' song, and actually, I was really lucky that I got to meet Caspar um, a few years ago in Seattle, and in fact, he signed this book for my son Harry, to Harry Love Caspar, and then he drove himself. So I'm not going to be singing the song, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll think about it. Okay, maybe we'll sing. I'm dressed in my favorite farmer gear. I wanted to match the farmer in the book, and this was as close as I could come. So his name is Old Manhattan, and are you ready to hear Old Manhattan has some farms? <clears throat> Do you know the song Old MacDonald? It's very close. If you think you can sing along with me, I hope you can. All right. Old Manhattan has some farms, E-I-E-I -E grow, and on those farms we plant some food, E-I-E-I -E grow. Let's see. On a high rise here, in a backyard there, climbing up, hanging down, spreading green all over town, Old Manhattan has some farms, E-I-E-I -E -E grow. That's pretty good. I bet you can sing it with me. Are you ready? So that one was in Manhattan. Now, do you notice these names? They're not people at all. They're places. So our next one is Old Atlanta. Are you ready? If you can sing the E-I-E-I -E Grow With Me, please do. Old Atlanta has some worms, E-I-E-I -E grow, and with those worms we transform lots, E-I-E-I -E grow. Spray some water here, move an earthworm there, pull some weeds, grab a spade, who's got veggies they can trade? Old Atlanta has some worms, E-I-E-I -E -E grow. Let's see, the next town is Chicago. We've had Manhattan, we've had Atlanta, and now we're in Chicago to E-I-E-I -E -E grow. Old Chicago has some roofs, E-I-E-I -E -E grow, and on those roofs are beds of herbs, E-I-E-I -E -E grow. With some basil here and some mint sprigs there, Pick some chives, add some dill, string them by our window sill. Old Chicago has some roofs, E-I-E-I -E -I grow. Now we're in Toronto. Do you know where Toronto is? It's in Canada, which is the country just to the north to the United States. Let's sing. Old Toronto has some hives, E-I-E-I -E -E grow. And in those hives are busy bees, E-I-E-I -E -E grow. With a buzz buzz here and a buzz buzz there, pull the frame, spin the wax, spread some honey on our snacks. Old Toronto has some hives, E-I-E-I -E -E -I grow. Mmm, I love honey. I love this 
song lyric all about Toronto and their honeybees. <gasps> and here's the city where I used to live, Seattle. Let's hear how they grow things in Seattle. Old Seattle has some roots, E-I, E-I, grow. And with those roots, we don't need dirt, E-I, E-I, grow. With a heat lamp here, hydroponics ponics there, arugula, radicchio, salad greens are great to grow. Old Seattle has some roots, E-I, E-I, grow. There we go. Let's see. Oh, the next one is about the White House and the White House gardens. The White House has three compost bins, E-I, E-I, grow. And in those bins, we make new dirt, E-I, E-I, grow. With some eggshells here and some pea pods there, build the layers, mix a batch, fertilize the cabbage patch. The White House has three compost bins, E-I, E-I, grow. All right, and here's my favorite. I want you all to hear this one and know that anyone can start a farm. And I want to hear you sing that E-I-E-I -E -I grow really loud with me. Are you ready? Anyone can start a farm. E-I-E-I -E -I grow. And that means you can start one too. E-I-E-I -E -I grow. Line your pots up here, shovel dirt in there, plant your seeds, add some sun, yummy crops for everyone. Together we can all grow food. E-I-E-I -E -I grow. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, which was more of a song than a story, and hope you learned a little something about gardening and planting and having a farm that grows fruit, food. At our house, we have a garden that grows food, and we like to pick herbs from it, and we have some tomatoes that are just starting to grow and are still green, and we've already picked some peppers that we like to put in our salsa. And we have um, gotten friends who have given us things from their gardens like zucchini and squash and onions. And we use those to make tomato sauce. There are lots of things you can grow in a garden. And you know what? You can just grow flowers too. So it might be a little too late this year to start a gar garden. But next year, think about starting a little garden, even if it's in just a small planter like it says. Remember, anyone can grow a farm. E-I-E-I -E -I grow. Have a wonderful night and sleep well, friends. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Good night.